Morning all, we are on day eight, French Open 2019. We'll take a look at results from yesterday. Uh, just been reading a comment on the previous video that all I'm offering is stats and maths. Really? I think I offer a little bit more than that. It's working out okay for me. If you don't like the content, jog on. Moving on. Fognini yesterday did pretty well. Bit of a shaky start from both players on serve. Uh, Fognini was a breakup. Was broken, serving for the set. Still took in a tie break. Took the second. Batista Agu did manage to take a set in the third. Fognini in fours. Verev struggled again. Uh, the last time he played Lajovic was also in the French Open and he went to five sets. Same again. Pretty comfortable in the last set. Tsitsipas finished off his match with Krajinovic. Um, decent quality. for I only watched the last couple of sets in that one. Um, probably actually more errors than winners. Um, but they were playing, they were really belting the ball at each other. Uh, I think there were more forced errors than unforced. Struff did well to come through against Koric in five. I thought Koric would edge that, but I expected Struff to be competitive. He certainly was. Uh, Vavrinka, a very strong match. Three tie breaks against Dimitrov. Uh, serve was pretty strong. Didn't give him many chances. Uh, maybe he's peaking to have a good second week. Djokovic comfortable against Caruso. Um, team dropped a set against Cuevas, which was expected. Came through in four sets. Monfils comfortable. Del Potro surprisingly comfortable. Thought Thompson would actually had a chance to take that one. Del Potro hasn't been at his best. And Kachanov very comfortable against Klizan. Thought that might be a little bit more competitive. On to the ladies. Hallett through very comfortably. Uh, she's got a strong head-to-head -head against Serenko anyway. Uh, the one that attracted a few comments yesterday. Apparently there was absolutely no justification for laying keys. Okay. Yet yeah, she won 6-4 in the third. So I'd say that's justification in itself. Chances in that match to take some profit. You just can't help some people. Can't please everybody. Screw them. Osaka, disappointing. Siniakova played a good match. Um, can I say? Deserved it. Osaka was poor. It's not our best surface, but she, uh, she's she been fighting well so far in the tournament. Siniakova 3-2. Apparently, Schweitek uh, made a very slow start against Puig. Puig. <laughs> so my brain just shut down for a second as it does uh, Switek fought back well to take it in three um, Bolsova again slight underdog came through in two sets tough final set I think she was broken serving for the match still came through 7-5 uh, Simova through against Begu Pretty tight. I thought it may go to three. Both both sets were close. Uh, she certainly deserved that one. Williams, nowhere near her best. But, I mean, let's not take anything away from Kenin. She played a superb match uh, when the crowd were getting on her back a little bit. Uh, towards the end, she still held it together. And thoroughly deserved that. Um... In the press conference, press conference, Jesus, press conferences afterwards, Dominic Team was doing his press conference, and because the organisers decided that Serena should be in the main conference room that he was in, his he'd already started. He was answering questions. He was kicked out, and she was put in to do hers because she didn't want to wait. Now there's a lot of people saying. A lot of people trying to blame uh, Serena for that. It, it does look like it wasn't her decision to kick him out. She didn't put pressure on that, it, other than not wanting to wait. The organisers decided she should be in there. 
as the room was big enough to get all the reporters in. Even though it wasn't her decision, if that is the case, surely any decent person is going to say, no, don't kick him out, he's halfway through. I'll wait. I mean, how long's a press conference? Now, once again, the, the, the organisers bend over backwards to to favour Serena Williams, and she, she'll she find a way to make it, everybody's picking on her for, for criticising her when it wasn't her fault. Absolutely disgusting. Um... Anyway, that was the news I woke up to this morning. Barty comfortable against uh, Petkovic through in straight sets. That's it for yesterday. Uh, I think the pretty good results. If it's only maths and statistics, it works. Screw you. Screw you. Very unprofessional. Right, let's have a look at today's. Uh, we'll go through the ladies. What maths have we got here? Um, I've got a favour, Martic against Kanepi. Kanepi started all three of her matches slowly. She lost the opening set in the last two rounds, did fight back. She's going to struggle to do that against Martic. Uh, I don't like the price, the start price on Martic, so I want a higher one. With Kanepi starting slowly, have we got a chance to get a higher price? I don't know. Let's hope she gets an early break. Uh, an early break for Kanepi. And I'm happy to back Martic at that price. Should be a good match. Vondrasova, Sevastova. Uh, Vondrasova has better, better clay results, uh, especially in 2019. This is Sevastova's first time in the fourth round. Uh, and also Vondrasova's best French Open. She doesn't have the experience. Uh, but doing really well. The stats for the tournament. Apologies, Eleanor. I'm going to have to look at stats. Stats for the tournament favour Vondrasova. A little bit of uh, value on Sevastova. She fought really well in the last round. I think she can take it to three. Uh, I'm going to, if Vondrasova pushes the price down, I'm going to lay around 1.35, take some liability out at 1.7, and it's worth a lay on the set winner. Beckett's Conte should be pretty close. Head-to-head's 3-3. Most recent, 2019, on a hard court. Beckett in two, and she's won the last two matches. They've never met on clay. Uh, overall result pretty even in the last 12 months. Conte has a slight lead in 2019, but not a great deal. Both have got strong clay results. Again, Conta has a slight lead. Stats for the tournament favour Vekic. Uh, I'm looking for a lay on Conta. I think Vekic is going to take that one. She seems to have lifted a game a little bit this week. Uh, it's going to be very tight. Three sets. I'm looking to lay Conta around about 1.6. Stevens Muguruza, another good match. Uh, Stevens reached the final last year. Muguruza the semis, obviously she's a former champion, I think 2016 off the top of my head. Head-to-head 1-1, -head uh, both matches were on hard courts, overall results pretty even. Stevens struggled a little bit against her, so I expected that one to go to three. Uh, the maths told me that would happen. She was broken five times in the... Uh, I've written in the five sets, in the three sets in that one. Uh, Muguruza has dropped just one set, which is the first set she played in the tournament. She's been pretty solid since, although a serve took a while to get going against Vitalina in the last round. I'm favouring Muguruza for that one, uh, but I want to wait to get on her about uh, around evens, around two. Good chance of three sets in that one. On to the men's. Uh, Federer should be comfortable. I think Mayer's going to keep at least one of the sets tight in that one. He's lifted his game this week. But I just don't see him taking three sets from Federer. Uh, no value for me there. Sitsipas for Vrinka. Sitsipas starts a slight favourite. Um, I think this is going to be a long match. 
I'm giving Vavrinka a slight edge. I think the longer the match goes on, the more things tip in his favour. So I certainly value on him as underdog. Uh, and I'm looking for around 1.6 to get a lay on Tsitsipas. And hopefully Vavrinka continues to serve as well as he has been. Um, it, it is going to be close, four or five sets. That's our favour Vavrinka the longer it goes. Nadal isn't going to have any issues with Londero. Londero's had a superb week for him. Hopefully that will build his confidence. Uh, Pear did well for us yesterday, although Karina Booster retired <coughs> two sets to one down. Pear was still playing well. I think he's going to run out of steam today. Had the title win last week. Um, Nishikori playing pretty well, beat Songa in four sets. I'd like a little bit better price on him. I would take 1.75. I prefer usually a little bit more than that. But as I think Pear's going to tire, uh, he may still take a set. I would imagine he's going to try and start quickly. His best hope to last the distance is to win in three. So I'd back Nishikuri around 1.75. So that's the stats and mathematics for today. Hope you find it useful. And I'll be in the chat room most of the day. Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow.